How's it going everyone? In case you don't know me, my gamer tag is OP. I'm one of the best Mortal Kombat players in the UK and one of the best Sonya players in the world. And today I'm going to be teaching you everything you need to know in order to beat Sonya in Mortal Kombat 11. This character has a lot of weaknesses that even a lot of pro players don't always exploit. So if you learned something from this video, go ahead give it a thumbs up, comment what you learned and make sure to subscribe to Dash Fight for more character guides and check out their website for all things FGC. Okay, so before we hop into the gameplay, I'm going to quickly show you guys a few of the abilities that you guys are probably going to come up against when you're fighting against Sonyas, whether that's in player match, combat league, or even in tournaments. The most common move is going to be this one here, the Energy Rings Charge. This is a fantastic move because it allows Sonya to cancel her Amplified Energy Ring Blast. What this means is that normally when you amplify Sonya's Energy Ring, she fires two Energy Rings, but with this ability it allows Sonya to charge up the second shot that is fired when she amplifies it and it actually allows her to dash cancel it which can give her extra damage in the corner sometimes even mid screen if uh, the Sonya player has the correct spacing but uh, for the most part this is going to be one of the most common moves because it makes her mix up game specifically in the corner far deadlier aside from that though there aren't really any key moves that you'll find Sonya players use it really comes down to personal preference. I really like the cat orbital drop here, or the drone drop, which gives her another option for her zoning. Um, a lot of players like to use air marching orders. This move's fantastic for... Uh, it basically gives Sonya a jump kick that has jump punch properties. Uh, for those of you who are not aware of what that means, uh, normally when you do a jump kick, it will knock the opponent down. But this is a jump kick which will keep the opponent stood up, which means you can get a full combo for it, which is really, really good. Um, she also has her crushing counters. These are a set of parries she gets. She gets a low parry and a high parry. These can be good in situations where the Sonya player doesn't have bar to flawless block, but the gap is big enough and it's still there. So you're able to get a little bit of a, a, com a little bit of damage, even though you don't have the bar for the flawless block attack. Um, but for the most part, I think I'm mainly going to be covering some of the energy ring shenanigans that Sonya players like to use and abuse when they're playing against you. Okay, so now on to Sonya's gameplay. Sonya's a pretty versatile character in the sense that she has the ability to do well against most characters from anywhere on screen. Um, she's got fantastic movement, she's got great mix-ups, and she also has a really strong projectile which can be great for harassing opponents from afar. Um, so let's start off by covering her range gameplay. Sonya's main tool from far away is her energy ring. Uh, it can be amplified for follow up and is great for slowing down the pace of the game. Uh, however, unless you amplify the move and both the projectiles hit the opponent, Sonya loses every projectile trait in the game with the exception of Cassie Cage's low gunshot. The reason for this is that Sonya's projectile deals 60 damage, which is a pretty normal amount for a fireball in this game. Um, I'll just show you here. So 60 damage. Um, but the issue with this is that Sonya has 950 health. Uh, this means that if she traded with a character that has a uh, projectile that does the same damage as Sonya's, but that character has more health, which is most of the characters in the game, then as we will see, I set Robocop to playback, the projectile takes a larger chunk of Sonya's health bar. Let's see if I time these properly. Sonya has currently, if I unpause and you have a look at the health bars, Sonya has less of her health bar intact than Robocop does, even though they have both dealt 120 damage to one another, as you can see there. This eventually adds up and can make things quite difficult for Sonya, as uh, if she's in a position where she's far away and she needs to come back from a life deficit, it can be a difficult situation for her. When you're fighting against Sonya, I think one of the most important things to do is keep her as far away from you as possible if you have tools which you can use to counter zone. Uh, Sonya's a character where when she's down on life, her goal is to get in and mix you up for big damage combos. However, if she cannot get in, 
and all she can do is her projectile and you have the life lead as I just covered she can't win the trades that makes it a very good situation for you if you can keep her out while she has less health than you um, one of the things I like to do if I'm playing against a Sonya player is uh, I tend to play characters that have a projectile or a tool that they can use to counteract uh, Sonya's zoning and then maybe land a, a good hit or two so I've got a little bit of a life lead and then I just run away um, I know it is somewhat frustrating for the Sonya players which is honestly better because if you can frustrate your opponent and make them want to come in they might end up rushing their movement, they might end up jumping too much or they might just end up dashing at you and you can catch them off guard and punish them for doing that. Okay, so to go over Sonya's punishes for her mix-ups. So her main strings that you'll find most commonly used are her back 1-2 and her back 1-4. So to punish the back 1-2, which is the overhead option, um, if she just does the back 1-2 on its own, as you can see it's minus 9, you can punish that quite easily with a jab string. Every single character in the game can do this. However, there comes a risk with that punish in that Sonya can finish the string completely. So as you see, if I try and go for the punish there, I'm just going to eat Sonya's knee and I'm going to get full comboed for it. So there is a little bit of risk there. But what I think is more important is making sure that you've got the punish down for the full string. Because you can actually get more damage because it's even more minus. It's minus 14. Punishing her low is also pretty straightforward. Most Sonya players will want to maximise the damage they get. So they will go into her back forward four leg sweep. Which as you can see is even more punishable. It's minus 19. So you can get lots of damage from it. One final tactic that Sonya players will pretty commonly use is they will end their strings in amplified energy rings. This will create a decent bit of pushback between the opponent and yourself and put Sonya in a good position because she's not too far away but she's also not too close. There are a couple ways that you can stop Sonya from getting the energy rings, however if you mess them up as you just saw you might get crushing blowed so if you have low health do be warned. Uh, you need to make sure you're on point with these punishes. The best way to do that is just to practice them. The first thing we're going to do is that we're going to flawless block the second energy ring. This doesn't quite work with Robocop because his boss block buttons are a little bit too stubby. But with most characters this should work no problem. Another option you have is to interrupt the gap between the first and second ring with a 7 frame or faster button. I am using an 8 frame button to interrupt here but I have slightly delayed the energy ring uh, so that I can show you what it'll look like when you do it with your own character. So just remember any button that is 7 frames or faster should be able to interrupt Sonya here. There are a few exceptions to this. Characters with big hitboxes, so for example Jax or Geras they're not able to jab through it. However, testing their other 7 frame buttons, so for example their down one, may also work. One final option that some characters have is that they are able to duck underneath the ring and they're able to get a punish this way. This does not work for all characters and can be pretty tricky. But once you get it down, it's a really really good option to know about. Um, it is risky because of course if Sonya finishes the string and you end up trying to go for this special kind of punish then you are going to get full combos. So just be warned, um, however if you are using it um, it's a really really good option because it allows you to completely shut down Sonya's ability to stagger back 1-2 or do back 1-2 rings. It eliminates the mix up because you can just, jar you can just down one underneath it. If she does back 1-2 into rings you just down one and if she just does just back 1-2, you can see here that the down one will punish it. So you'll always get your turn there, no matter what, unless she goes into the full string like this. The last string I want to go over is Sonya's back 3 up 4-3, which is this string here. This string seems really good on paper because it's got a good range, it's a low, safe on block, nice pushback. It just seems like the tool that Sonya sort of needs to stop mashers from just sort of running about the place. And you know, it allows her to sort of check the opponent from further away. 
Um, however, the problem with this string is that it's full of holes and there's lots of different gaps you can exploit. So I'm going to show you those. Right now. The first one is that both of the hits, the second and the third hits in the string are flawless blockable. So I'll do it again here. As you can see, if you floss block the final hit, there is still quite a bit of pushback, which can make it quite difficult to get an up 2 or an up 3 with some characters. However, the way to combat this is to make sure that you stand block the last hit as if it was an overhead, because that will reduce the pushback you get and make your up 2 or up 3 more reliable in that situation. Once again, I'm doing it here with the second hit. Nice and easy, simple flawless block. However, with the first and the second hit, if you react in time, you can actually get an even better punish, as seven frame normals will completely blow this up. See, the, the, the next hit doesn't even come out for Sonya. As you can see, I'm trying it here with an eight frame normal, and it does trade, so any normal that is seven frames or faster will interrupt this gap. A bit like the energy rings, you just gotta get the timing down. One final thing that I don't really see a lot of players do against Sonya, even the more intermediate or even professional level players, is that if they block this string and it's at range, if you block it at max range, you can actually backdash the second hit. So I'm doing a little micro backdash here, and then I'm using an advancing button to close the space quickly. And this can net you big damage if you can react quickly enough to the situation. In terms of character matchups, I think the, for the most part, Sonya goes 5 5 with most of the cast. However, characters that can deal with her zoning or outzone her are going to be quite difficult matchups. Sometimes it's going to feel like a bit of an uphill battle. So, for example, Scorpion. Scorpion is able to teleport, uh, obviously, to punish the energy rings on reaction if the Sonya player tries to zone him out. And he can also teleport in between the gaps in energy ring and the second energy ring if Sonya amplifies it. So there are there is a little bit of character specific tech there uh, for the Scorpion players so that can be quite difficult for Sonya to deal with. Another character that's pretty common is Sub-Zero. Sub-Zero's EX Ice Ball of course it chews up projectiles so it can be really really strong against Sonya if the Sonya player just tries to play a little bit too zone heavy and he can also slide underneath them which is a bit of a, a double problem because of course Sonya is mostly high buttons so it's going to be quite a difficult one if you're come up, coming up against a good Sub-Zero. Cetrion's another one that isn't particularly fun. Her ability to outzone you along with her ability to constantly mix you up when she's up close. She doesn't have the most damaging mix but with her tornado she can go into multiple different options and if you're not defensively strong enough against the, the Cetrion player, she can really sort of destroy any life lead you've got and make it really difficult for you to make a comeback. Um, a few other picks that you've got is um, Jackie. Jackie's really really strong because she can just sort of jump over the zoning, obviously she's got the uh, bionic bounce. Uh, Jade's great because she's got good, good counter zoning options and she's also got the glow which will go through the projectiles. Um, and Cabal of course because he has his air dash which is really really strong and using the air projectiles to keep Sonya at bay is a really strong tool as well. Okay so I think that just about covers it for Sonya Blade in Mortal Kombat 11. If you guys enjoyed this video please make sure to leave a like or comment below with your thoughts. Uh, you can check out everything that's on screen right now in the description. I really hope you guys learned something from this. If you did please let me know. really appreciate it and thank you very much for watching. Catch you guys next time.